the force defined by F is equals to alpha t square plus beta t acts on a particle at a given time t. The factor which is dimensionless if alpha and beta are constants. Given force F equals to alpha t square plus beta t. Here alpha and beta are constants. F is force t is time. By using this first to find out the dimensions of alpha and beta. According to principle of homogeneity, the dimensions of the quantity which is in LHS side is equals to the dimensions of each and every term in RHS side. So dimensions of force is equals to dimensions of alpha t square. From this alpha is equals to f by t square m power 1, L power 1, T power minus 2. We know the SI unit of force is Newton when Newton is equals to kc meter per second square. Mass m power 1, meter L power 1, second power minus 2, T power minus 2 by T square is there. So T power 2, m power 1, L power 1, T power minus 4. Dimensions of alpha is equals to m power 1, l power 1, t power minus 4. Similarly, find the dimensions of beta. f is equals to beta t. Beta equals to f by t. Dimensions of force m power 1, l power 1, t power minus 2. Time t power 1. Then dimensions of beta becomes to m power 1, l power 1, t power minus 3. Check the first option. Beta t by alpha. Dimensions of beta. By dimensions of alpha. Into t. t power 1. m get cancelled. l get cancelled. t power minus 2. This minus 4 goes to numerator plus 4. Then it becomes t power 2. This is not the dimensionless quantity. Take the second option. Alpha t by beta. Dimensions of alpha m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 4 into t. So take t power 1 by beta m power 1 l power 1 t power minus 3. m cancelled l cancelled t power minus 3. And this t power minus 3 goes to numerator becomes to plus 3. Minus 3 plus 3 0. t power 0 is equals to 1. That means this is dimensionless quantity.